Hey guys, what is up? My name is the Shadow. Now welcome back to some more Walking Dead. Now last uh now last couple of videos I lost an arm and I took an epic jump off of a clock tower. Actually What? What where's the bow? Holy What? What no 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 Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. They took the boat. Guys, no, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. They didn't have to take the boat. I don't give a fuck if their make a wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. Fuck him. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! He says he feels bad about it. Oh yeah, he then does. he wouldn't take the boat cancer if he feels bad about, about it. They fucked us! If they really, if he really felt bad about it, he would left, he would have left the boat here. He, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. Everything so went we good until, like, we uh, the fuck out all of this city. happened. I'm done with city. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Hi. We can do this in the yard. They took the freaking boat. What do we do now without a boat? Well, I know you two are just going to look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourself. Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are going to have to start rebuilding. You guys at Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long. But at one point, we've got to take our chances, right? This is bullshit. Whoa. You Watch your language, mister. So, with all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. You've tracked 50 million 500 quadruple thousand zombies. I don't know. I, I'm just making up the numbers. You shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can. can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Jimmy. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. We'll do it. Oh, me. What is it? He's scared. Hey, where are you going? Oh. Go now! Front hallway! Ah! 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 Doggy door! Get away from the doggy door! Please, he went through the no. doggy door! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry. How about. Okay, I have an idea. How about we use the one that you cut my arm off with? That help? Hey, put your knife! Take their goddamn arms off! I'm gonna shove it in their backs like Solomon Grundy. And uh now what? Shh. Everybody. We have to hide and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient, then we get going.
I will cut you up. Oh, you. I will cut you up like shape of a fries. They took down the doors. Obi looks so cool. Shells, bro. Huzzah! I feel like I'm the uh, I'm the one always doing all the uh, stuff that I probably shouldn't be doing. No, my God! No, my God! Twice shy. No, 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 no. no. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here and keep moving. Yeah, my arm's still gone. Right. So yeah. Moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? No. I don't know. I really don't think that. Maybe. Well, we're not going but to. But we're gonna try. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Nothing. Dixon Kent the third. Industrial Mead Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Since when was there a statue? Sorry. There? So no ideas then. We shouldn't have come up here. Where else would we have gone? The streets are a river of walkers and they were coming in from all sides. We're no good to Clementine dead. I'm dying. Start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How yeah, what you talk about, boy? We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Uh... We have to go now, like right this goddamn minute. Like now. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. Do you think that worked? Don't know. Hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. Uh. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not going to do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't going to happen. How do you know that? Guy. I don't know what um, we doing. cut off my we arm. And we were you there for that? Lee, I'm not advocating anything here. But how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment. But who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. Oh. It's getting out of hand. You're going to listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? 
Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. I would have been dead. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. And when it happened, Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video right there. Now, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more awesome videos every single day. We'll see you guys later. Bye.